Hello kids, welcome back. So children, today we will be solving lesson number 7 of your workbook that is food and nutrition. So, let's begin. Question number 1. Fill in the blanks using the suitable words given in the bracket. Number 1. Fruits taste sweet because they contain dash. Answer, sugar. Number 2. Rice, wheat, jawar, bajra are our dash foods. Answer, staple. Third one, the tiny peaks on our tongue are called dash. Answer, taste birds. Fourth one, all dash foods are not more nourishing. Answer, expensive. Fifth one, if our body is to work properly, it must remain dash. Answer, healthy. Sixth one, use dash while cooking food. Answer, pressure cooker. Seventh one, use whole grain flour without dash. Answer, sifting. Eighth one, when cooking food, add only as much water as is dash. Answer, necessary. Question number two, write whether the following statements are true or false. Number one, we can serve garlic chutney using a big ladle. Answer, false. Second one, we need little water to keep our body functioning properly. Answer, false. Third one, we should eat pulses only when they are sprouted excessively long. Answer, false. Fourth one, taste birds are situated in the nose. Answer, false. Fifth one, some of the constituents give strength to our body. Answer, true. Sixth one, while preparing food items, all the constituents of the food remain intact. Answer, false. Seventh one, Drinking water after chewing amla tastes sweet. Answer, true. Eighth one, our diet includes same food items. Answer, false. Question number three, match the column. First one, milk. The answer is butter. Sesame, oil. Tamarind, sour. Jawar, flour. Chiku, sugar. Question number 4. Give two names each of the following. Number 1. The substance is added to food items while cooking so that they become sweet. Answer. Sugar. Jaggery. Number 2. Fruits that should be eaten with the peels. Answer. Fig. Grapes. Third one. Pulses to be eaten after sprouting. Answer. Wild beans and matki. Fourth one, colored vegetables which could be eaten as salads. Answer, carrot and beetroot. Fifth one, foodstuffs that can be mixed with any dish while cooking. Answer, potato, dal. Let's move to question number five, give reasons. Number one, we must take certain precautions while cooking food. Answer, while cooking food, some of the nourishing ingredients can be lost. If the food is cooked for a longer time, the constituents in the foodstuffs are lost. Therefore, we must take certain precautions while cooking food. Number 2. Our body must be healthy. Answer, all the functions of our body should go on smoothly. We should also have energy to do work. Growth and development is possible only due to good health. For all such reasons, our body must remain healthy. Let's see the next one. Number 3. Garlic is not an important foodstuff. Answer. The foodstuffs what we eat every day and in large amounts are important staple foods. Garlic is not eaten in large quantities. It is used only for flavor. Therefore, it is not an important foodstuff. Question number 6. Answer the following questions in brief. Number 1. What new thing did Monika Tai tell about the tongue? Answer. Only one tongue can tell us many tastes. This new thing was told by Monika Tai to children. Number 2. Fruits are sweet. Does that mean that they contain only sugar? Answer. Fruits do not contain only sugar but have many other constituents too. There are energy giving substances and fibers in the fruits. 
Question number three. What are nourishing foods? Answer. The foods that make our body grow strong are called nourishing foods. Question number four. Which food ingredients contain sour elements? Answer. Lemon, tamarind, raw mangoes, tomato have sour elements. Question number seven. Use your brain power. Uh, number one. Is thali wheat more nourishing than a bhakri made of only jawar or bajra flour? Answer. In thali peat flour, there are many pulses and dals added together after roasting them carefully. There are also certain spices added to it. Eating jawar and bajra bhakri will not give that much nourishment as one would get through thali peat. Thali peat is full of many nourishing constituents. Number 2. If we add crushed peanuts or fresh coconut to a dish, Will it make the dish more nourishing? Answer. Peanuts and coconut have nourishing constituents in them. Adding crushed peanuts or fresh coconut to a dish will therefore make the dish more nourishing and also tastier. Third one. Why do we squeeze lemon juice on rice and dal? Answer. Squeezing lemon on rice and dal adds taste and flavor. To the food, lemon juice also contains vitamin C. Question number 4. Which crop growing in a field contains the most sugar? Answer. Sugar cane is a crop that contains the most sugar. Open-ended questions. Question number 1. Make a list of your diet for one day. Then put tick mark for proper food and put a wrong mark for improper food okay so the answer is t cross t chapati chapati is the correct proper food dal is proper food rice is proper food ice cream is improper food so cross it pizza improper food so cross it fish is a proper food okay eggs proper food Honey, proper food, milk, proper food, almond, proper food and cashew nuts are also proper food. Okay, then we have question number two. Name the sweet fruits that you like to eat. Answer, mango, banana, apple. So children, you can add your favorite fruits over here also. Okay, question number three. Which nourishing food stuff does your mother give you regularly? Answer, milk, nuts curd, chapati, dates, honey. Uh, if you want to add some more children, you can definitely add over here. Question number four. What's the solution? Sumit and Madhura do not like green leafy vegetables. On the day their mother cooks green leafy vegetables, they skip their meals. Answer. Sumit and Madhura should be convinced that eating green leafy vegetables are good for their health. By having green leafy vegetables in our meals, our blood becomes healthier. We get lots of fibers due to which our bowels are cleaned. We also get other nourishing substances. If all these things are told to Sumed and Madhura, they will start eating the meals containing green leafy vegetables. So children, that's the solution for lesson number 7 food and nutrition hope you like the video so if you like the video do subscribe the channel like it and share it with your friends who need it see you soon in the next video till then goodbye